Hey guys, what's up? I am Hunter, of course. Welcome back for another commentary. Tonight's match is going to be on Metalopolis. We have EG Axlav spawning at the 6 o'clock position. Axlav is not an extremely popular player. I have seen matches of his before. I've seen some of his games on live stream. He's a, he's a very good Protoss player for sure. Very strong in tournaments. And um, a member of EG, the Evil Geniuses clan. Um, also the clan that Idra is a member of. Spawning at the 2 o'clock position, we have, it's just a generic OGS account, but this is actually OGS, the STC. Uh, this OGS account is used when they're not, uh, the OGS clan is not playing on the Korean server, so this is in fact the STC. For a long time, STC was really dominant, especially on the ladder, um, you know, making it to the tip top of even the global ladder, so that's definitely, I mean, requires a lot of skill. Although, I haven't heard as much about STC in the past month or two. It's nice to get some replays of his. He's a very good Terran player and uh, should put on a good show for us. So, PVT, Metalopolis, one of my favorite maps. Of course, you've got your natural expansion uh, down at the bottom of this medium-sized ramp. The natural expansion is not incredibly difficult to take, but when you spawn at these positions... It is very tough to get a third, you know, whether it's the blue minerals or the gold over here. It's very difficult to pick up that as a third base. So many players will elect to get your third base at uh, one of the other main bases. Simply because it's a lot easier to defend. Certainly makes sense. Uh, we have the first probe just kind of harassing the worker, the SCV, building the barracks. But, I mean... STC pulls off another worker. I'm wondering what kind of builds these guys are going to go for. I mean, at this point, Axlav realizes, um, you know, how close his Terran opponent is spawning. But OGS STC hasn't actually sent out a scout just yet. Back at Axlav's base, he is putting up a Cyber Knight score. He goes with a very generic, uh, very stable opening. You see this opening... About 90% of the time from Protoss players. Gateway Assimilator followed by the Cybernetic score. Second Assimilator on the way, so it doesn't look like we're going to see any crazy, you know, four gate, stalker, zealot pushes. Uh, could mix more sentries into it, or he could go for something a little bit more tech heavy. We'll just have to wait and see. The SCV has arrived, though, and uh, just going to do whatever scouting around he can. And this SCV for the STC is going to be free to scout as he pleases until a stalker arrives. But uh, that, I mean, is not going to be for a little while. So STC is going to get a lot of scouting intel, it looks like. Back at STC's base, uh, nothing else, you know, too exciting going on besides the second refinery, a very early second refinery. This often points to Banshees. Uh, could be just an, another, or could just be a, a mech play. Um, but we're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, I haven't seen this game. Not exactly sure what's going to happen. We do have a bunker going up, though, so... Uh, STC definitely getting into sort of a defensive posture at this stage. SCV, the SCV for STC is going to get forced out, not by a Stalker, but we do have a Sentry on the way, and uh, just sort of seeing that the Gateway is producing something scared the SCV away. But you know what? He got a lot of scouting done. He knows, uh, he knows about the second Gateway. Does he actually know about the third? No. He certainly does not know about that. Want to take a look at the vision of Axlav. What does he know about? Uh, really nothing. He doesn't know about the reactor. That probe just got taken out uh, near the mineral, near the natural minerals. Factory is now complete. I'm wondering if he's actually going to lift off the factory onto the reactor, go for some Hellions, uh, some early Hellion harassment. We'll just have to wait and see. Third gateway and fourth gateway. So we are going to see some kind of uh, four gate push um, from our Protoss player Axlav as he does set up a proxy pylon as well. Now we have an SCV just uh, going to take control of the Zelnaga. Yeah, just see what he can scout out. Maybe going to try to do some scouting a bit later in the game. We'll just have to wait and see. But it looks like we are going to have pressure building up very soon at the front door of STC as we are beginning to warp in units. Axlav, a lot of sentries and one zealot as well. But you know what? Nice game sense from STC. He does spot the proxy pylon. Um, oh, we actually have a robotics facility as well. And this Hellion trying to do some harassment. It got two probe kills uh, before it was taken out by the Stalker. And um, uh, it, it, it is worth it. I mean, 100 minerals for the Hellion. And then two probe kills is 100 minerals, but the mining time is added on as well. Very nice force field preventing those 
three SCVs, or actually no, it was just two, two. Oh no, I see three, three drills there. Three SCVs from escaping back to the high ground. So very quick reaction time with that force field. I really like that from Axe Lab. Now, STC landing down his factory with two bunkers here full of Marines. Um, it's going to be pretty sturdy defense for the meantime. It looks like uh, Axe Lab not actually opting to go for an immediate push. He's trying to secure his nexus at this point. Um, the natural base, of course, we have a command center uh, being constructed as well for uh, the STC. I like the placement of that, uh, building the command center far away from the top of the ramp so that it's not going to get scouted easily. This next is now halfway complete and we actually have Banshees on the way. We have one Banshee out already, another Banshee on the production tab along with, uh, along with Cloak being researched. Looks like someone just got dropped from the game. Wolf is actually a, a, a Team Liquid caster. Uh, looks like he was covering this game and he just got dropped too bad for him. This Banshee is going to start going to work on the Pylon. Uh, going to warp into Stalker though. A couple Stalkers to force that back. Although Cloak is done and there's an Observer there as well. Very nice. Axlav is going to force that Banshee back and cancelling a couple or at least one bunker there. This Pylon is going to remain in a position. We have a Probe. Is he going to be ready to take a third base soon? Um, we'll just have to wait and see. On the production tab, we see that SCC is going to morph in an orbital command before lifting off and heading down to the natural base. Um, just going to try to poke as best as Axlav can. He does have the vital detection. Those Banshees aren't going to be able to do uh, too much with an Observer overhead. Now producing off of three racks with uh, one Tech Lab and one Reactor. Um, now STC getting into a more of an offensive position. One Stalker does get taken out. This pylon's going to go down as well. We have a Raven on the production tab and more and more Banshees. This is actually getting to be very Banshee heavy. Three Banshees will uh, be on the map soon enough. The Nexus has arrived and it's pretty solid saturation so far. 16 workers mining there. Uh, no more gas though. On the units tab we have 39 harvesters for our Protoss player Axlav. While SCC is sitting at 31 uh, SCVs plus mules, of course, two bunkers going down. The factory now is going to uh, land on the low ground and just sort of uh, just further fortify this position. I mean, a lot of hit points on that factory, but you got to be careful. Axlav here shaping up for a really strong push. We have seven stalkers and quite a number of sentries as well, putting down some good force fields. But there's still room for SCVs to repair the bunker, I believe. Lots of Banshees overhead as well. And do we have an Observer any longer? It doesn't look like it. The Observer, um, it must have been taken out because of the Raven. Um, one of Banshee gets taken out there. And finally, we have another Observer uh, for detection, of course, getting in position. I would have liked to see these Banshees do even more damage. But the bunker does get taken out. Zella to the front line gets killed as well. And a nice work with the scanner, taking out that detector. Uh, this Immortal getting caught way out of position. I'd really want to take that out if I were STC. Immortal's very expensive units. Um, Axlav now just warping in, you know, what he can and going to continue to put pressure on. STC not bringing any more SCVs down to the natural expansion. Doesn't want to lose anything he doesn't have to. I mean, he's got these here just for repairing purposes. Very nice repairing the benches as well. Um, it looks like this bunker is going to get taken out. There are a lot of Marines though and SCVs as well as a meat shield. And these Banshees doing a lot of damage, I must admit. Two kills, two kills, and three kills. They are taking, they're doing a lot of damage, especially the Stalkers. These Zealots uh, bringing all the Marines down to the red. Um, another Immortal not going to be very useful in this situation. I do not like how many Immortals Axlav is making versus Marines and Banshees. It looks like this Immortal is going to get taken out just barely there. And this very heavy Banshee play uh, so far working out very well defensively. We do have a third base going up for Axlav and getting a Stargate as well. Uh, probably going to pump up Phoenixes to combat the uh, Banshees. But Axlav really getting shut down on all fronts here. He still tries his best to, you know, push and, uh, you know, poke at this natural base. But, um... Really, these Banshees and just a simple Banshee Marine composition 
uh, working out really quite well, manning some probes over to the third. So Axlav is sort of now he really needs to defend, and the ball is in STC's court. STC needs to decide whether or not to take a third base or to go for a push. Definitely going to be pushing right now on the units tab. We see 20 Marines and 6 Banshees. Holy cow, those Banshees have quite a bit of energy, so we're going to want uh, a nice scan to take out those, uh, to take out the Observer so the Banshees can really do work. And this, the, all the Protoss units forced up the ramp. The Marines doing a lot of damage. No Stimpak for the Marines, but they are still dealing a lot of damage, and the Banshees uh, complementing them very well overhead. No more Stalkers, very little anti-air, just one Phoenix, but those Marines are going to make quick work of the Phoenix. Banshee's very high DPS, going to start to go to town on this Nexus. The Phoenix does go down, and there's detection, two observers, but certainly no uh, anti-air, uh, except for this one Phoenix, but with this many Marines, it looks like Axelab is going to force, be forced to sacrifice his natural base. Now moving up to the main, Axelab really taking a lot of damage here. A bunch of Marauders make their way onto this scene. A lot of probes are falling. Uh, Phoenix really not doing enough uh, damage. I mean, the Marines very high DPS to take out those uh, very fast air units. One of the warp gates going to get taken out. A second warp gate getting focused down by these Marines and Banshees and Marauders as well. Now making their way into the heart of the Protoss base. Axlav trying desperately to hold on, but he just can't do it. Really sort of an unexpected unit composition. Just such a heavy push with these six Banshees. And take note, none of them died uh, from this push. I mean, one kill, six kills, six kills, 12 kills, and 10 kills. Holy cow. Really cool play by the Terran player. Hope you guys enjoyed this game, and I'll be casting a whole bunch more. All right? Take care, guys. Peace out.